Every March, tiny Nederland, Colorado plays host to thousands of revelers from all over the country, there to celebrate one of the most unique festivals in America. Frozen Dead Guy Days honors a Norwegian immigrant currently residing on a mountainside above town under nearly a ton of dry ice. We got the incredible story of how he got there from one of the festival's co-founders. Teresa Crush Warren, you're a voice of authority on this festival. Just who was this frozen dead guy, anyway? His name was Brito Morstel. He died in Norway, but his family brought him over here to cryogenically freeze him in that California, is, right? That's correct. He was actually cryogenically frozen in Norway, and then his grandson, Trigby, had him transported to a facility in L.A. But eventually to here where Trigby lived. Well, nobody knew that until 1994 when his mother, Odd, was trying to get a certificate of occupancy to live in this house that Trigby had started building. Of course, the town had to deny her the certificate of occupancy because there was no plumbing, there was no electric, and when they said no at a town board meeting, she turns to a woman sitting next to her and says, but who is going to take care of the frozen bodies? And at that point, chaos explodes. The town had a knee-jerk, overreaction. And there's all sorts of city ordinances against it, but somehow Grandfather Brito got grandfathered. The, the upshot is that Brito is still frozen in a tough shed here in Nederland. And how long has Brito, Grandpa Brito, been frozen? 25 years, and he's thought out a few times. How old would he be right now? He would be 117 years old. And how did the whole festival get started? In 2002, I was president of the Chamber of Commerce, and someone asked you, where are you from? And you said, Nederland, Colorado. They would say, oh, isn't that where that frozen dead guy is? So why not take advantage of that by making it a festival and bringing people from all of the country? That's exactly Brilliant, what did. Teresa, brilliant. So we have the frozen t-shirt contest. We have the frozen turkey bowling contest. There's a Ice. polar plunge. Polar plunge, the coffin races, and the parade of antique curses as well. Are they any closer to coming up with a cure for Brito, which would spell the end of your festival? That's the purpose of cryogenics, isn't it? Keep it, them alive until we come up with a cure. It is, but we haven't figured out how to reanimate them.